Hello and welcome to episode 14 of the Beginner Guide to One Piece, The History of Roanoa Zoro. Zoro made his debut in One Piece Chapter 3, corresponding with anime episode 2. It had been stated by Oda that if Zoro was a real person, his nationality would be Japanese. It was also stated by Oda that Roanoa Zoro gets 3 hours of sleep every day. However, Zoro will frequently take a nap during the day to make up for the sleep he does not get during the night. Now that we've gone over some fun facts about Zoro, let's go into the history of Zoro. As a child, Zoro trained at a dojo in Shimasugi Village. Zoro stated in the Barate arc, Once he decided that he would become an invincible swordman, he left his life behind. Even as a child, Zoro was strong enough to defeat most grown men, adults, but could not defeat Kuina. The, the Dojo Master's daughter. After their 2000th fight and Karina's 2000th victory, which means he didn't even beat her one time, in case you cannot do math, jo Zoro challenged her in private for one more match with real sword. Although he had improved tremendously since their first match, he still lost and cried with frustration, telling Karina about his dream of becoming the world's greatest swordman. Hearing that Karina confided in Zoro, telling him that she shared the same dream, but she would never, could never attain it. Her father had told her that the girl could never be true Stormmaster, and that her fighting potential would decrease as her body matured. Zoro, annoyed by her defeated attitude in spite of repeatedly winning against him, told her that one day he would beat her because he was more skilled, not because she was a girl. The two made a promise that... Either of them had to become the world's greatest swordsman. The next day, Kuina suffered a fatal fall down the stairs of her Jojo to get a sharpening stone for her sword, something she would not have needed if she and Zoro had not fought with real swords, meaning her death is Zoro's fault, which I'm sure Zoro does partially blame himself for. Much to Zoro's anger and disappointment, realizing that she would never have the chance to fulfill her dream, Zoro took it upon himself. Acting his sensei for her, his sensei for her sword, Wado Wado Ichimoji, and began working to develop his signature Santoryu, or three sword style, holding his own two swords in one hand and Kuina clenched between his teeth. This is the three sword style, the world's best. Eventually, Laura learned of Dracula Hawkeye Mihawk who currently holds the title as the greatest swordman in the world. He set off to sea, searching for him in order to challenge him to a duel. However, he lost his way and could not find his way back home due to a terrible sense of direction. In order to survive on his own, he took on bounty to pay for living expenses. He quickly built a famous reputation for himself as a pirate hunter in the East Blue and even in the Grand Line. The Ropeworth, the organization led by Crocodile, that were currently the plank where Nico Robin, a future member of the Straw Hat Pirates, the crew that he would join, was a member of. Even in the Grand Line at Baroque Wars, had heard of him. He would even consider the war the greatest swordman of the East Blue, after which he met two bounty hunters, Johnny and Yozaku. Because of his reputation as a bounty hunter, Thor was offered a position as a numbered agent with, within Baroque Wars. He replied that he would accept only on, con on the condition that he would leave the organization, <laughs> which is kind of funny actually, I love that about Zoro, he's such a badass, but only on the condition that he would leave the organization, which they obviously said no. He then killed Mr. Seven, the agent who offered him the position to defend himself. And that guy did the history of Roanoa Zoro. Next week, is the one I've been dying to make, and the finale of this series of videos where I go over the history of every single Straw Hat, the history of Luffy, and then I can finally begin recapping every arc in the franchise. That will take a while, I know, but I'm going to try my best to do it. My goal is to by the summer, by summer this year, have recapped 
every single arc in all of One Piece. At least up until the time skip. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, come by next week for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.